D-Wave Quantum vs. Rigetti Computing The best quantum stock to buy now. Imagine getting in on Apple, Microsoft, or NVIDIA when they were just startups before they became trillion-dollar giants. Now, what if I told you that quantum computing could be the next big tech revolution, and two companies, D-Wave Quantum and Rigetti Computing, are leading the charge? The quantum era is coming, and the stakes are higher than ever. Hi! In today's video, we're diving into the exciting world of quantum computing stocks and comparing two of the biggest players, D-Wave Quantum, QBDS, and Rigetti Computing, RGTI. Which of these stocks is the better buy right now? Can they deliver long-term gains like the tech giants of the past? We'll break it all down. Welcome to the Finance Savvy, your go-to channel for market insights and investing strategies. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe for more updates on AI, quantum computing, and the hottest tech stocks. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out in the comments below. Let's dive into the video. Quantum computing. The next tech gold rush? Quantum computing isn't just another tech trend. It's a paradigm shift that could redefine industries from cybersecurity to pharmaceuticals. But here's the catch. Quantum computing is still in its early stages, and making money off it could take decades. Still, investors are piling in. Quantum stocks have skyrocketed, and the hype is real. Since late 2023, D-Wave has surged by 384%, while Rigetti has exploded by a mind-blowing 767%. But which one is the smarter investment? Let's break them down. D-Wave Quantum, the established player. What makes D-Wave unique? Unlike other quantum companies, D-Wave specializes in quantum annealing which is already being used for optimization problems in industries like logistics and finance. Think faster supply chains, better flight schedules, and smarter AI models. Commercial adoption. D-Wave isn't just a research project. It has real customers, including Volkswagen, Toyota, and Lockheed Martin. Cloud-based model. Their Leap Quantum Cloud service gives businesses access to quantum computing, expanding their reach. Patent power. Over 200 patents mean D-Wave has a strong mode in the industry. But here's where D-Wave gets even more interesting. They're now expanding into gate-based quantum computing, which is the dominant model pursued by Google, IBM, and Rigetti. That means they're not just a niche player anymore. They're aiming for a broader market. Bottom line, D-Wave is the most commercially advanced quantum computing company today. While its technology is more specialized, it's already generating real revenue, a big advantage in an industry that's still largely experimental. Rigetti Computing, the pure play quantum challenger. Now let's talk about Rigetti Computing, one of the most exciting full-stack quantum computing companies out there. Unlike D-Wave, Rigetti uses the gate-based model, which is expected to have the broadest applications in the long run. Advanced Quantum Processors, Rigetti builds its own superconducting quantum chips, meaning they have full control over hardware and software. Strategic Partnerships The company is working with NASA, the U.S. Department of Energy, and major research institutions to develop next-gen quantum systems. Vertical Integration Rigetti has its own manufacturing facility, which is rare in the quantum space and gives it an edge in development speed and quality control. But here's the catch. Rigetti is still in early stage development. Unlike D-Wave, which has commercial clients, Rigetti is mostly focused on research and innovation. That means higher risk, but also higher potential reward. Bottom line, if you believe gate-based quantum computing will be the future, Rigetti could be a moonshot investment. However, its lack of revenue and higher valuation make it riskier than D-Wave. Both companies are pushing the boundaries of quantum technology, but which one is the smarter investment right now? Let's compare. Feature, D-Wave Quantum, Rigetti Computing. Technology, D-Wave Quantum Annealing, Expanding into Gate-Based. Rigetti Computing, Gate-Based Quantum Computing. Market Adoption, D-Wave, Proving Commercial Use Cases. Rigetti Computing, Still in R&D Stage. Revenue Model, D-Wave Cloud-Based Hardware Sales Rigetti Computing Still Developing Revenue Streams Risk Level D-Wave Lower Due to Existing Revenue Rigetti Computing Higher Due to Early Stage Development Growth Potential D-Wave Steady Growth with Real Customers 
Rigetti Computing, high risk, high reward potential. Final verdict, D-Wave has the edge right now. While both companies have strong potential, D-Wave Quantum is the better buy today. Here's why. One, it already has commercial customers and real revenue. Two, it's expanding into gate-based quantum computing, increasing its market potential. Three, it has a more reasonable valuation compared to Regetti's sky-high multiples. That said, if you're looking for a long-term moonshot bet, Regetti could deliver massive gains if its technology matures. The bigger picture, how Broadcom, AVGO, versus Meta could play a role. Now, before we wrap up, let's connect this to an even bigger opportunity, AI and quantum computing semiconductors. Companies like Broadcom, AVGO, are poised to benefit from the rise of quantum computing by supplying the high-performance chips and networking infrastructure that quantum systems need. Broadcom is already a key supplier in AI hardware, and its role in quantum computing could be the next major growth driver. So, if you're looking for more stable exposure to the AI and quantum revolution, don't miss our upcoming video on Broadcom and other semiconductor giants. Closing Thoughts Quantum computing is one of the most exciting frontiers in tech today. Whether you go with D-Wave's proven commercial model or Regetti's high-risk, high-reward potential, both stocks could be game-changers in the long run. What do you think? Are you investing in quantum computing stocks, or are they still too speculative for you? Let me know in the comments. Again, thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to The Finance Abbey for more deep dives into the hottest tech stocks. Got questions? Feel free to reach out. We'd be happy to help. And don't forget to check out our upcoming Broadcom versus Meta video, where we'll explore how AI and quantum computing are reshaping the semiconductor industry. See you in the next few seconds. From quantum computing to AI dominance, why Broadcom could overtake Meta in 2025. Imagine being ahead of the curve when Apple was just a garage startup, when Microsoft was building Windows, or when NVIDIA was quietly making GPUs before they became the backbone of AI. Now, another seismic tech shift is happening. Quantum computing and AI infrastructure are converging, and the real winners might not be the companies you expect. We just explored D-Wave Quantum versus Regetti Computing, two companies shaping the quantum revolution. But quantum computing isn't operating in isolation. It's fueling the AI boom. And one company stands to benefit more than anyone else, Broadcom, AVGO. In fact, Broadcom might just outpace Meta Meta in market value by 2025. But how? And what does Meta's $65 billion AI spending spree mean for Broadcom? And investors. Stick around because we're diving deep into this battle of tech titans. Hi! In today's video, we're breaking down one of the most exciting showdowns in tech, Meta versus Broadcom. Which stock will reign supreme in 2025? Welcome to the Finance Savvy, your go-to channel for market insights and investing strategies. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe for more updates on AI, quantum computing, and the hottest tech stocks. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out in the comments below. Let's dive into the video. The AI Gold Rush. Why Meta is betting big on infrastructure. In the investing world, you've probably heard of the Magnificent Seven, the elite club of trillion-dollar tech giants. NVIDIA, Apple, Microsoft, Alphabet, Google, Amazon, Meta, and Tesla. But not all these companies are benefiting equally from the AI explosion. Meta, for example, is spending an eye-watering $65 billion in 2025 to build out its AI infrastructure. That includes A. Custom AI chips to reduce reliance on NVIDIA. B. That expanding its data centers to handle AI workloads. C. Scaling AI models to enhance Instagram, Facebook, and WhatsApp. But while this sounds promising, there's a big risk. Investors remember Meta's Metaverse disaster. Meta's $65 billion AI gamble. A flashback to the metaverse fail? Let's rewind to 2021. Meta rebranded from Facebook and went all in on the metaverse, pouring billions into VR and AR tech. The result? Stock crashed over 60% as investors feared runaway, spending with little return. Fast forward to today, and history might be repeating itself. 
Meta's challenge. Can it prove to investors that this AI spending will translate into profits, or will Wall Street panic over another costly gamble? But here's where it gets interesting. Meta's AI spending could be a bigger win for Broadcom than Meta itself. Broadcom, the silent AI infrastructure giant ready to explode. While everyone is watching NVIDIA dominate AI, Broadcom, AVGO, has been quietly powering the AI revolution behind the scenes. 1. Semiconductors Broadcom's custom AI chips are a crucial component in major tech companies' infrastructures. 2. Networking and data centers The AI boom requires faster networking, cloud security, and connectivity, all Broadcom specialties. 3. Enterprise clients Meta is a key customer of Broadcom's custom AI chips, ASICs, meaning Meta's AI spending directly fuels Broadcom's revenue. Simply put, Every dollar Meta spends on AI infrastructure could indirectly boost Broadcom stock. Why Broadcom could surpass Meta in market value by 2025. Let's compare these two giants side by side. Factor. Meta, Meta, Broadcom, AVGO. Market cap, 2024 Meta, $1.6 trillion. Broadcom, $1.1 trillion. 2024 stock growth. Meta, plus 194%. Broadcom, plus 108%. 2025 AI spending. Meta, $65 billion R&D, AI infrastructure. Broadcom, growing AI revenue from clients. Revenue model. Meta, ad-driven, AI products. Broadcom, AI infrastructure, custom chips. Biggest risk. Meta, profitability concerns, investor skepticism. Broadcom, high demand, chip supply chain risks. Now, while Meta is hoping AI will boost ad revenue, Broadcom is already profiting from AI infrastructure demand. This is the key difference. Here's my take. Broadcom's AI networking, chip production, and data center expansion could give it a faster return on investment than Meta's consumer-focused AI push. If Broadcom keeps gaining market share in AI semiconductors, it wouldn't be crazy to see it overtake Meta's valuation by 2025, especially if investors turn sour on Meta's spending spree. What this means for investors. So, what should investors do with this information? 1. If you believe AI infrastructure is the real gold rush, Broadcom could be one of the biggest winners in the coming years. 2. If you think Meta can prove its AI strategy works, then it could still deliver strong gains, though it carries higher risks. 3. Want exposure to both? Investing in a mix of Broadcom, NVIDIA, and Meta could be a strong AI portfolio strategy. But one thing is clear, AI infrastructure stocks like Broadcom are no longer in the shadows. Closing thoughts. Quantum computing and AI are reshaping the future, and Broadcom could be the biggest underdog in the trillion-dollar race. What do you think? Will Broadcom's AI dominance outpace Meta's ad-driven model in 2025? Let me know in the comments. Again, thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the Finance Abbey for more deep dives into the hottest tech stocks. Got questions? Feel free to reach out. We'd be happy to help. And don't forget to check out our previous video on quantum computing stocks, because AI and quantum are on a collision course for the future of technology. See you soon in the next video.